Science. At this hospital in Lille, experts in pain relief are taking the rather unconventional approach of using hypnosis. And the hushed, comforting words delivered in a calm, monotone voice are proving effective in soothing this expectant mother. After a traumatic first labour, Anne-Sophie Jordan opted for hypnotherapy second time round. So what does she think? Hearing only positive words really helps. My first childbirth didn't go very well, so I made the conscious decision to make sure this one went better. It was much less stressful this time round. At first, she didn't know if it would work and she worried something might go wrong. But she was really calm. Hypnosis hasn't replaced epidurals on the maternity ward, but it has proved useful in emergencies, especially when drugs just aren't enough. Epidurals don't remove stress, whereas hypnosis works to reassure and calm patients. This is particularly useful in childbirth. This method of hypnosis was launched in the 1920s. On the left, we see an unstimulated brain. On the right, a brain under hypnosis, where more areas are activated, including the areas where stress registers. These zones correspond to stress management. The body concentrates all the pain in these areas, which are found deep inside the brain. Coaching through hypnosis has allowed this couple to experience the birth of their second son in a more serene environment. And now for a different take on drugs. For anti-cholesterol medication to be truly effective, it should be taken at 9pm. For sleeping pills, the optimum hour is 10pm. This precise method is called chronotherapy, but the strict time constraints are proving difficult for some patients. In chronic cases, nearly 30% of patients regularly forget to take their treatments, and the more they forget, the more complicated the patterns become. Realising this, scientists have made more sophisticated, time-sensitive drugs. We have drugs that dissolve very quickly in the body and others that act over 24 hours and diffuse at a slower rate. We can see them disintegrate, but they don't dissolve as quick. Work is currently underway to produce drugs which could be activated by pumps or remote controls. Scientists are also looking at ways in which light and ultrasound can trigger the effects of medication. Today, the only area in which chronotherapy has shown proven results is in the fight against cancer. Anita has cancer of the digestive tract. Her chemotherapy starts promptly at 10 p.m. And thanks to the help of this pump and backpack, she doesn't even have to leave the comfort of her own home. I only have to press valid, that's it. For the chemo to work, Anita must first get a pump inserted into her skin. This allows the device to be autonomous and is scheduled to meet her biological rhythm. It then releases drugs at the exact time Anita's body can tolerate them best. Many are now hoping this technology could revolutionise the treatment of cancer for millions of sufferers. <laughs>